Okay, so in this video, now that we have our Find Session Complete set up, what I want to do is set up a basically the way that you would do it for uh, joining the session. So for example, the way this can be set up is if we actually found a session, we're going to try to join the first valid session that we find. So to do that, it's very simple. Again, just like with the previous video in regards to sessions, I cannot show you this because it doesn't actually work because I'm testing on the same machine that I'm actually playing on. So I don't have like a separate machine with another Steam account that I can test with. So anyways, to begin, what we're going to do here is on Find Session Complete, same exact thing that we do every other time is get our session pointer. And from here, we have all the fancy functions such as, well, right here, join session. So it takes in, again, the local user ID, so zero, session name, and then the actual desired session, so basically the session search result. So that is what is inside of the search settings here. So join session is going to be zero. Now we need the session name. So that would be test session name. Forgot that we made that. And then the desired session. So to do this, what we're going to do is if session settings, or what was it, search settings maybe? Yeah, search settings. Let's get the match search results. Wait, no. Get the search results dot num. So basically, if there is more than one, or at least one, what we do is we get the search results. And we pass in the first index. So basically, we're drawing the very first one, if one actually exists. So from here, same thing as always, we have to sign up the delegate. So session pointer. Let's see, join, here it is, on join session complete delegates dot add new object, this, and then we need a function for us to call. So, we, as always, we go to it. So here you can see it takes in an F name, uh, right here actually, session name, and the result E join session complete result. So F name, E join session complete result. So, let's set up another function. So void, uh, let's do on join session complete. We're going to have an F name. And let's see, let's follow with the same naming. So session name. Then E join session complete result. And we'll just call that result. Which I think that's what that was. Yeah, they just called it result. Okay. Let's see. I think we do this as a T num as byte, or maybe it doesn't know what this actually is. Okay. So what we're going to do is so we're going to go to it. And this is not an enum. That really kind of screws with you a bit. But it's a namespace. And then we have the type. So we need to get the type. I don't know who set it up that way, but screw you. Okay. Then we have our function, create the definition, and paste it in our on join session complete delegates. Now what we're going to want to do here is basically if result, uh, let's see, what is the, what in the world? should have access to it. Oh, dir. If result equals, can I just do type? Yes, I can. There we go. So if it is successful, what we want to do is basically join it. However, this is something I want to point out, so I don't know if this is just a bug or not. Uh, again, like I mentioned in the previous video, the people that actually got this working before me, they, well, he was having a problem with, I believe it was the join session results, for some reason, it was never throwing the correct value with it. So that's one thing that you can do. The other thing that you can do is just kind of test and make sure it's actually valid. So what we want to do here, it's not going to be actually using the result. We're going to be using, again, the session pointer itself to actually get the info for us. So just like before, I copy this section. 
grab the section pointer. And let's see, what's it called? Get resolved connection string. And as you can see, it actually takes in the session name and it outputs a string, which, which is going to be basically a variable that we set up to hold all the connection info. So this connection info is what we actually join with. So we're going to client travel to the connection info. So pass in the session name. And we want to create a F string. connection info. So we just throw that right on in and what we can do here is try to join with it. So I don't know if this is going to output anything invalid. Saying wrong area. So I don't know if it's going to like really point out anything invalid but it, it doesn't see any comments or anything about if it would mess or output anything specific to this if there was an error. So we're just going to kind of wing it and use this to join with. So I guess in theory, we could do a check. So if connection info, make sure that it is not empty. Let's see. Make sure that it is not empty. Then we will try to join it. So the way we join, yeah, I can't speak. The way we join this is going to be through our player controller. So we have to get our first player controller. Then we perform a client travel on it. And that'll be through connection info. So, and then one thing we have to make sure of is that we travel via absolute and not relative. So what we do is if, let's do, it's off the gameplay statics, I think. So A player controller, C equals C gameplay statics get player controller that's going to take in the world to so get world at index 0 now it's going to make you include something so if you scroll up here you include kismet gameplay statics dot h and where is it right here so we got our pc we can call tra yeah, client travel. Then the URL is going to be connection info. Then our travel type is going to be absolute. Okay. Now once you have this system set up, you should be good to go. So on find sessions complete, we should find a session assuming one actually exists. We're going to get our session pointer. We're going to make sure that the search results that it found is greater than zero so there actually is a result there to join then from there we find our delegate just like we do with all the others and we call join session so we pass in our session name along with the search result that we wish to join which is going to trigger once we actually join it so basically this is going to fire once it's complete and pass in the result so this again i don't know entirely if it's working but it might be a good idea to test just on your case if result is equal to success so if we have online subsystem it would also work if we did something like and result is equal to something like success like that so that way we can confirm that you know it was a valid join otherwise again i don't know entirely if that works but let's continue as always we get our session pointer from the online subsystem we construct our connection string, make sure that it's not empty just to assure ourselves. We get our player controller so we can perform a client travel. Then we simply perform a client travel to the connection string that we got from our session name. So it's relatively straightforward. It's not the most difficult thing to figure out. Thankfully, the way this is all set up is it sets everything else up for us. So that way you're able to join, leave, find, all that kind of stuff very easily through the online subsystem. But anyways, again, like I said earlier and in the previous video, I don't have a way to test this. I don't have another machine at my disposal to really show you that this works, but I can tell you right now, I have tested this with another person before on a separate project and it is in fact working. So anyways, I'm just gonna have to kind of take my word for it. And as always, if you have problems, you can find my discord down below and ask away. So 
that's going to wrap this video up and I'll see you in the next one.